Hurricane Laura is no more, but the damage the storm left behind is widespread throughout parts of Louisiana and Texas. This morning, thousands of people remain without power, and as bad as the damage is, officials say thankfully it wasn't worse after a lower-than-expected storm surge saved the area from even more devastation. CBS 4's Laura Podesta reports. She wanted to go to like Harvard or Ivy League. 14 year old Cynthia Miller was the first confirmed fatality from Hurricane Laura, killed by a tree that fell on her family's home. There was rain, wind everywhere. It sounded huge. We went right out the storm in our parents' room. Everyone was sitting in there, and then the, the tree, it came down. Oh. Laura came ashore in the middle of the night, packing 150 mile per hour winds. By Thursday morning, the widespread destruction was in clear view. Buildings turned to rubble, rail cars knocked over, and massive amounts of flooding. In Westlake, Louisiana, thick toxic smoke billowed from a plant that makes pool chemicals. We did not sustain and suffer the absolute catastrophic uh, damage that, that uh, we thought was likely based on the forecast we had last night. But we have sustained a tremendous amount of damage. Residents in Lake Charles who didn't evacuate say they were caught off guard by Laura's power. I just didn't think the wind and the uh, strength of it would be that bad. There was four of us. It was like a jigsaw puzzle in this closet. We were on top of each other, just holding each other, crying. Gladys Smith did leave her home ahead of the storm. Now she's wondering what's left. Everybody's concerned not knowing what they're what we're going to go back to because, you know, right now we can't really get back into town. President Trump says he'll visit Louisiana and Texas this weekend. Laura Podesta, CBS News.